researcher, kung hindi mo pa alam kung anong type ng qualitative study ang gagamitin mo, watch this video. Tutulungan kitang mag-decide. Hi, ka-schoolers! Hello, ka-researchers! Welcome back to our channel. First and foremost, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo kasi mayroon na tayong 100k subscribers dito sa ating channel. Yay! Yeah. Thank you po! And yes, sa video na ito, I am going to share to you the six widely used qualitative research kinds. Namely, the phenomenological, ethnographic, grounded theory, case study, narrative, at historical research. Kaya kung uh, magsisimula ka pa lang at wala ka pang napipili no, na specific type ng um, bubuin mong qualitative research study, then um, I hope ay matulungan ka at mag-guide ka nung series of videos natin discussing these types or kinds of qualitative research. First, halina at pag-usapan natin si phenomenological research. This kind of qualitative research focuses on subjective lived experiences of the participants in order to understand the phenomenon. Here, the researcher is concerned with the feelings of the participants regarding a particular event or activity. Hence, the uniqueness of their lived situation can be described. Tandaan, sa type na ito ng qualitative research, there is a phenomenon. And here, we need to understand the phenomenon and its meaning. Ngayon, balikan natin ng mabilis ang kahulugan ng fenomenon. Ka-schoolers, ka-researchers, sa research kapag sinabing fenomenon, this pertains to extraordinary event. Phenomenon is an exceptional happening or a remarkable situation. So, um, tandaan no, sa research, we deal with phenomenon. So, dun tayo sa mga extraordinaryong pangyayari, sa mga hindi pangkaraniwan. Kasi kung mga ordinaryo o pangkaraniwang pangyayari yan, then wala na tayong i-research dyan, di ba? So, dun tayo sa phenomenon. By the way, phenomenon, singular, isa lang. Pagka plural, phenomena. Wow, English lesson. <laughs> Okay, balik tayo kay phenomenological research. Again, kapag sinabing phenomenological research, it deals with the phenomenon. And take note of this, ha? this type of qualitative research focuses on the lived experiences of the participants in order to understand the said phenomenon. Um, to emphasize, Sa type na ito, ikaw na researcher, kukunin mo yung lived experiences o mga karanasan maging ng feelings o saloobin ng mga participants mo regarding an event or activity. Now, this way, this way, the uniqueness of the lived experiences can be described o mailalarawan mo sila. Ayan, so ngayon naman ang tanong. Kapag phenomenological ang ating type ng research, anong data collection method kaya yung gagamitin natin? At ilan naman ang sample size? O ilan ang participants na kukunin natin at i-involve natin sa ating study? Sa phenomenological research, interview is the most common instrument used for data collection. Pagdating naman sa number of participants, the suggested sample size is ranging from 5 to 25. 
this type of qualitative research doesn't require a large number of participants kasi the goal is to gather descriptions of the participants' lived experiences which are rich in detail and imagery, as well as reflection on its theoretical or psychological meaning. Now, the likelihood of achieving this goal can be um, enhanced by using sample size or sample in a purposive manner. Another thing, according uh, to Boss, as mentioned in an article titled Research Methodology Overview of Qualitative Research by Daniel Grossome, um, posted or published in ncbi.gov journal, an accurate presentation of um, the experiences under study is more important in this approach or in phenomenological research than the ability to claim that the findings apply to across situations or people. At ngayon naman, of course, we will not let this video end without providing you with um, situations where phenomenological research type is used. At bilang bonus, dahil 100k na tayo dito sa ating channel, o lagi ko naman din naman itong ginagawa, <laughs> I will share to you um, samples of actual actual research titles under this type. Gusto nyo yun, di ba? So, eto na. <laughs> Pero bago yan, wait lang, <laughs> I would like to acknowledge Bread Society International. Ma'am Anna has been a member of this organization since 2016. So, in fact, ang uh, samahan na ito ay isa sa mga major stakeholders namin sa paaralan. Ang dami na nilang naibigay, naitulong, naisuporta sa aming paaralan. Okay, now, ang Bread Society International is a non-government, non-sectarian, socio-civic youth organization. So, their goal is to uh, promote values among today's youth. At ang pinaka-goal nila, samahan natin sila no, dito sa mabuting layunin nila na ito, na to um, build morally driven, God-fearing society. So, kung sa school nyo, sa college mo, or sa university mo ay merong chapter ng Bread Society International, kontakin mo na sila. Yes, ngayon na. Ngayon na. Kontakin mo na sila at magpa-member ka na dyan sa youth organization na yan. Okay? Be one of us and be a member of Bread Society International. Okay? Kaschoolers, ka researchers, here are the sample situations where you can apply this type of qualitative research. And um, I will provide you also the corresponding research titles. Okay, so if you want to uh, determine the challenges and coping mechanisms of students enrolled in the printed modular distance learning modality, so pwedeng ganito yung title natin. Challenges and Coping Mechanisms of Grade 7 Students in Printed Modular Distance Learning Modality, a Phenomenological Study. If a researcher wants to um, explore naman the lived experiences of out-of-school youth, so pwedeng ganito yung buuin nating title. Sa Labas ng Silid Aralan, a Phenomenological Study of the Lived Experiences of Out-of-School Youth in Aurora Province. If uh, you, the researcher, aim to um, explain the experiences and feelings of um, those COVID-19 survivors, then pwedeng ganito yung maging title natin. A Phenomenological Study of the COVID-19 Survivors in Central Luzon. If um, a researcher aims to explain the perceptions and attitudes of a um, student about a particular program in school, so pwedeng ganito yung maging title natin. A phenomenological study of the perceptions and attitudes of senior high school students toward sex education program in an PH school. Ka researchers, ito pa ang bonus. Here are other samples of research titles under phenomenological type of research.
So, ayan, ka-schoolers, ka-researchers, ang dami na niya na panalong-panalo ka na dyan. So, naibigay natin, no, kung ano, naipaliwanag natin kung ano ang, ang phenomenological uh, type of uh, research. Nabigay na natin yung konsepto niya. Tapos, naibigay din natin yung mga sample situations where this type is um, applied. As well as, nagbigay din si Ma'am Anna ng mga sample research titles using this type of um, qualitative research. So, I guess, no, okay na yan. Um, kung sa kasalukuyan ay bumubuo ka ng qualitative research type at ito yung gagamitin mo, then pwedeng-pwede mong gamitin yung guide na binigay natin. And kung naman in the future ay gagawa ka or maatasan kang gumawa ng phenomenological research, then balik ka lang dito sa video natin na ito. At ayan, maraming maraming salamat ka-schoolers, ka-researchers, lalong-lalo na no, sa support ang ibinibigay nyo sa ating channel sa Ana PH. Nakakatuwa talaga, ang sarap sa puso na makita no, yung mga marami ninyong comments, marami ninyong messages sa mga videos natin dito sa ating channel. Hindi ko pa po sila naiisa-isa. Pasensya na po, hindi ko pa nababasa lahat. Lalo na, hindi ko pa nare-replyan. Pero, promise ni Ma'am Anna, pag maluwag na yung schedule, babalikan ko, iisa-isahin ko yung mga messages ninyo, yung mga questions ninyo. And I will really try my best to comment back and answer your questions. So, lagi naman, no, ang pakiusap ko lang, you keep on watching our videos, share them to your classmates, to your fellow researchers, okay? At para sa discussion ng susunod na type ng qualitative research, punta na tayo sa next video. Tara na!